Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to share with you this really easy and delicious fall charcuterie board, so stay tuned. All right, here I'm just showing you how to make our pumpkin cheese ball. You need some cream cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, Doritos, salsa, taco seasoning, and some green onions. So I just took this little stem from one of my pumpkins, washed it really well since it will be going into food. So we're gonna use that. Now I'm just combining all of our ingredients. Um, I will list the recipe down below for you guys for exact measurements, but honestly guys, I, I kind of eyeballed this. I added more cheese. I changed up the seasoning. The seasoning was just cumin, but I thought taco seasoning would be better. And then I changed out the diced yellow onion for diced green onion so it wouldn't be as harsh. Once we get it all mixed up, we're gonna put out our um, saran wrap here. We're gonna put it into a nice little ball shape don't worry about perfecting it too much. Um, in the saran wrap, this is more to just kind of harden it and keep it together. So once we've got a general round form, we're gonna stick this in the fridge for two hours, and then after that, I stuck it in the freezer for another 30 minutes, got it nice and hard and pliable. That way I can kind of mold it more into a round shape here. Got my black food gloves, food safe gloves. I'm gonna shape it more into a ball and stick it into those crushed Doritos. Now you can use any kind of Doritos, the spicy ones, the Cool Ranch, whichever you prefer. I used classic nacho cheese. So here I'm just taking a little wood dowel or like a kebab stick and shaping out our pumpkin lines, as you can see here. Some people wrap it with rubber bands, but I didn't have any, but this worked just as well. And it was definitely much easier. And then once we're done, we're gonna stick our stem right in there and we're done. I'm gonna stick it back in the freezer while we get everything else ready. So I got this spinach and artichoke dip from Trader Joe's and this bread bowl from uh, Walmart. Now I'm just going to use the bowl for uh, the outline of the, of the shape. Now you can serve the dip in the bowl in the bread, but here I wanted to take the center out and kind of make a bread bowl for the dip. You'll see here in a minute. I did stick that bowl in there and weigh it down. If you've got some pie weights, definitely stick that in there. It'll leave a nice indentation. So here we go, I'm gonna let that sit while we do everything else. Now I'm just telling you here, I'm not gonna waste that bread, we're gonna dip it later. So I just heated up the dip and I stuck it inside the bread bowl and this is what it looks like. Now here are some of the ingredients we are going to use. Now I didn't use all of them. Um, I actually didn't use any of the fruit and some of the chips, um, but yeah, you can really get creative here. I'm using some raviolis, we got some turkey sticks, um, we got all kinds of stuff. Now you can use some cured meat if you like salami and prosciutto and that kind of stuff, definitely add that. Um, this is definitely for my kids and my family's tastes. Um, we like the turkey sticks or the beef sticks. And then here I got some European style cheese. It's cheddar, Gouda, Swiss, and Havarti. Super good, I really recommend this brand. Now I'm adding some salty items here. I got some cornichons, which is just little petite French uh, pickles from Trader Joe's, and then some green olives. Now I got this antipasta from uh, Trader Joe's, it had feta, olives, and little baby peppers. So good, definitely check out Trader Joe's. Just showing you here the raviolis. We're gonna heat them up. Now here I'm taking these little turkey sticks and chopping them in half just to make it easier to eat. And now we're just gonna start adding all of our vegetables. Look how tiny these tomatoes are. Aren't they so cute? I thought they were adorable. So I definitely got those. We've got all kinds of stuff. Carrots, peppers, celery, uh, grapes. Like I said, you can do anything with this, guys. Whatever you like, add it. Um, I actually ended up using two boards because I just wanted to add so much to this. I added some dried apricots, some walnuts. You'll see later some pumpkin seeds. We've got some pita chips, pretzels, like you name it, honestly. Whatever you like, add it to the board. Of course, had to have some Doritos for the dip. It just goes together. Now this dip was so good, guys. Definitely gotta give it a try. So was that spinach and artichoke dip. There's those bread bites. We're gonna use those with the little uh, fork you'll see here in a minute to dip into the dip, to dip into the dip. You know, put things wherever you'd like. You can add more. I added cookies. Um, there's some uh, maple flavored cookies from Trader Joe's, some pumpkin spice cookies from Trader Joe's. They just have so much good stuff. All 
right, now I'm just adding the finishing touches. As you can see, I moved stuff around a little bit. Now I got those spoons and those little food picks from Hobby Lobby last year and this year. All right, here is my final board. My family really, really enjoyed this. There's not much left over, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, please stay tuned. I am gonna be making a more sweets style, more chocolate, fruit, um, caramels, you know, all the fall goodies, marshmallows, that kind of good stuff. Um, that will be coming shortly after this. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.